Hey teachers, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video last week about extending your desktop. I walked into a few classrooms I know and I saw some people using that feature. One request I got from a teacher was, well how do I take my PowerPoint presentation that I use for my do now or I use for my lesson and extend it and make it full screen on my new extended desktop. So we're going to go over that today. So we start by first looking at my projected image right now which is just my background for my computer and on my screen I have my PowerPoint presentation. To make this PowerPoint presentation full screen on my extended desktop requires me to change the settings in my slideshow. So to do that I go up to where it says slideshow, I click on it and I go down to my option to set up show. Now I've already done it here, I've browsed by an individual PowerPoint defaults to presented by a speaker. So when I do full screen it, it does one of two things. It either is going to take up my whole entire desktop right here, or it's going to take up my whole entire extended desktop, and on my computer I would see a bunch of presenter notes. I don't need the presenter notes. I need to be able to take my attendance. I need to be able to do what I need to do when my students are working on their work. So one workaround is to click on Browse by an individual window. After you've clicked on that, go ahead and hit OK. And now when I go to Slideshow and View Slideshow, it opens it in a window. Um, this window, of course, is not the full desktop, but we're going to make it the full desktop. So to do that, I'm going to switch over again to my extended desktop. And I'm going to drag my presentation into my extended desktop. Now I can get pretty good right there and have it almost full screen, but if I click, of course, on my green button, my plus sign, it will extend and take up the whole desktop. So again, you can see in the background here, my computer, my desktop, I can work on what I need to work on while the students are working on an assignment. Another cool feature, a little hidden one, is that even with this projected, as long as I'm seeing the word PowerPoint up here, I can use the arrow keys to control my presentation. So if I need to give them the next piece of information, I need to show them an answer, whatever I need to do, I can do it from here. If you don't see PowerPoint though, if it says Firefox, it does not work. So that was real fast how to make a full screen PowerPoint presentation in an extended desktop. If you have any questions or want some help with it, please let me know. And I hope you find this useful. Thanks.